For some reason, many people find it very appealing to be able to control a miniature boat as it schemes across the water of a nearby lake. Radio-controlled boats are universally enjoyable, whether you are a child or an adult. Furthermore, nothing beats the thrill of completing a massive and daunting project and finally seeing the results. As a result, you should consider building your radio-controlled boat out of materials available at any local craft or hobby store. If you're here, you've probably already considered this possibility. It is more than possible and probably less difficult than you think. Because you chose to build your radio-controlled boat rather than buy one pre-made, you will face a number of additional challenges that you would not have encountered otherwise. However, all your hard work on your remote-controlled boat will pay off in the end, and you will feel proud of yourself when you take it out to a lake for a day and successfully navigate the treacherous waters. Of course, you'll be frustrated along the way as your boat disintegrates or sinks into the water, never to be seen again. However, if you stick with it, you will be glad you did. Unless you have prior boat building experience, you will most likely want to use plans created by others. Plans for radio-controlled boats can be found everywhere on the internet, in magazines and books. You could make a scaled model out of the plans for a full-sized boat. This is a good option as long as you are confident that the motor and radio components will not interfere. Every detail must be completely clear regardless of where you get your plan. Even a minor typo or misreading could cause your boat to sink or spin in circles, struggling to stay afloat. You will require a lot of materials as you construct the boat. First, wood is a crucial component. Wood is most likely the material you will work with if you use bespoke plans. Light wood like balsa is available in large quantities at your neighborhood hobby shop. A wood that light is prone to snapping when you least expect it, so you should always have extra. Starting with a hull-shaped framework, you will plate it with sheets of wood while the wood has adhered together with adhesive. When everything is finished, you fill in the gaps and cracks with putty, and then coat everything with a sealant to make it waterproof. After that, you are free to paint it however you see fit. Next, compared to other remote-controlled projects like vehicles or planes, the motor equipment on a radio-controlled boat must pay more attention to it. Your entire project will be damaged, and you'll have to buy new, potentially pricey, radio equipment if even one water drop enters the electrical components. It can be challenging to waterproof the motor equipment. Therefore you should always test it before your first journey without any electricity. Typically, it is done by having the motor extend an arm through a waterproof sealant that will stop any water from entering. There are many parts to constructing a radio-controlled boat, and each one requires careful attention. You should have a fantastic experience if you can invest this time. You don't want the little sailors in your boat throwing things overboard in an attempt to stay afloat, do you? Leave a like if you want more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you the next time.